I'm going to just share a few thoughts here from the life of Elisha. And uh, they call it, titling this sermon, Moving to the Next Level. All of us, or many of us, recognize God has a plan, a purpose for our lives. There's a place we've got to go. There's a destination, there's a calling. But how do I get there? Five simple insights. Nothing profound here, but very simple and nonetheless very important for us. The first thing we see is serve faithfully in whatever you've been given to do. Most of us never will not step into our call the next day. What do you do in that time gap? What do you do when you're going from here to there? Serve faithfully, number one. So number two, stay on your journey until your moment arrives. There is that moment, there's a transition point when you're going to be, move from what you are doing to into that call, but that until that moment arrives, you've got to stay on your journey because that moment arrives and you don't want to be absent from that when that moment arrives. So don't quit your journey just because of distractions, discouragements, or a lack of discipline. Number three, desire and ask, but also pay the price. It's good to have desire towards the call on your life. What is God's call? You've got to have dreams. You've got to have aspirations. You've got to have desires in aligned, aligned, aligned to that call. And it's good to have those desires. They are godly desires because they're aligned to the call of God on your life. So, you know, I think this is where many of us miss it. We desire the right thing. We pray for the right thing. But we don't pay the price for what we're asking for. Desire for it. Ask for it. But be willing to pay the price for it. Doesn't come free. But number four is this. Prove yourself in the new level you've stepped into. So here's the point. When God brings you into a new level, prove yourself first. I like to put it this way. Let your work go before you. And your reward will come after you. Let your work go before you. Your reward will come after you. Prove the new level that God has ushered you into. Let people see the fruit of your work. And they will give you the reward that you deserve. Your rewards will come. The last thing I want to share here from this passage is to go beyond the previous. So go up in what you're doing. You've stepped into a new level, but take everything up to the new level. At each new level, you and I will have to go beyond the previous. It means there will be a change in what you do, the way you do it, and the price you're paying for it. Every new season requires a new you. So if you say, God, take me to a new level. Take me to the next level. Bring me into a new season of my life. God will surely take you there. You pay the price. You stay the course. You stay the journey. You come into it. Hey, but you can't be your old self. Every new season requires a new you. What's demanded of you is different. But many of us resist change. I don't want change. I liked it the way I used to do it. Every new season requires a new you. You've got to go beyond the previous. You can't do what you were doing in the past and expect, you, expect to walk in this new level of whatever. Grace, anointing, calling, gift. Away. You want to be at a new level? requires a new you. Are you ready for it? The way you were doing things before. The comforts you were accustomed to. Go beyond those things. Be a new you. And the new level God has brought you into. Amen.